Hi everyone, it's Tuesday morning and peace be with you. Thanks to everyone who joined us for worship on Sunday. We really appreciate the positive comments and feedback, especially since we can no longer broadcast from the church building. We hope you'll continue to tune in in the coming weeks. Now, 2 Chronicles chapter 20 tells the true story of King Jehoshaphat and his battle with the enemy alliance of Moab, Ammon and Edom. The Israelites were vastly outnumbered by the enemy. And so verse 3 tells us Jehoshaphat was alarmed. But Jehoshaphat then does five things that are instructive for us in our times of crisis when we feel overwhelmed and alarmed like he did. First, he resolved to inquire of the Lord, verse 3. He was intentional about seeking God's perspective on the challenging situation he faced. Second, he proclaimed a fast, verse 3. He humbled himself before God in repentance, expressed in his giving up of food. Third, he reminded himself of who God is and what God is like, verses 6 to 11. O Lord God of our fathers, are you not the God who is in heaven, he prayed. You rule over the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you. Fourth, he admits his helplessness in the face of the enemy and chooses to fix his eyes on God. Verse 12, for we have no power to face this vast army that's attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are fixed on you. And fifth, he praises God, verse 21, and he exhorts others to praise God too. God urges Jehoshaphat not to be afraid, for the battle is not his, but God's. And in response, Jehoshaphat appoints the choir to go out into battle before the army, praising God. Verse 21, after consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendour of his holiness, as they went out, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. The result was an astounding victory for the Israelites as their enemies turned on each other and were defeated. We can learn so much from the example of King Jehoshaphat. Maybe you're feeling alarmed and overwhelmed today. Can I encourage you to join me in taking a leaf out of King Jehoshaphat's playbook? First, seek God's perspective on this crisis. A perspective that we'll find in the Word of God. What is God saying? What is God doing in these days? Second, turn to Him in humble repentance. Third, remind yourself of who God is and what God is like, the sovereign ruler of all He has made, whose power is infinite and whose plans are unthwartable. Fourth, admit your helplessness and fix your eyes on God. And fifth, recognise that this battle is not ultimately ours to fight, but God's, and therefore praise Him. Praise Him for the splendour of His holiness. Give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. For praise is a God-appointed means by which we shift our attention from the overwhelming problem that faces us to the all-sufficient solution, to the sovereign God who loves us. So why don't you join me now in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Sovereign God and ruler of the universe, thank you for your love for us this day. Thank you that through Jesus Christ and all that he did for us on the cross, we can be assured that nothing can separate us from your love in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you work all things together for good, for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Lord, we pray that that truth, the truth of your word, would be like ballast in our boat today. Lord, we pray that you would give us the grace not to be alarmed, not to feel overwhelmed, but Lord, to focus our attention on you, to admit our helplessness before you, but to fix our eyes on you. Lord, help us to remind ourselves in your word 
of who you are and what you are like, to get your perspective on this and every crisis we face. And then, Lord, turn us to praise and worship, to give you the praise and adoration, the honour and the glory that you alone deserve. Lord, walk with us through this day, we pray, for we ask all these things in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. God bless you.